Hello, welcome to Bayfund Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, a visionary, and a bunch of other stuff. And um, I'm here to do the general reading for the month of September 2018, the sign of Taurus, the bull. Um, before I begin, let me get my plug in. Right, this is a new one to me. Um, Dione, goddess, um, is the name of this candle. A nice citrusy smell to it, and perfumey. It's it's really nice without being overpowering. These are 100% soy-based candles, handcrafted right here in New Brunswick, and um, they have a good 40-hour-plus burn to them per candle. They're two wicks. And um, easy cleanup, not harmful to your health, and when the wax melts down, you're left with beautiful reveals. Pendants. Trees of Life. There's a new one here. I got that last week out of one of my candles. Beautiful. Um, you know, you get your cage uh, quartz. Clear. They're they're just beautiful. It's hard to kind of. <laughs> anyway, so that's what you get. Um, they're running a special still. It's ongoing right now. It's ten percent off any orders that you make through IntuitiveCandles.com. If you use the promotional code BOFF10, that's BOFF10, stands for Bay of Fundy Fortunes, and the number 10. Use that for your order, you'll get 10% off. Again, intuitivecandles.com. Let's get into your shuffle. This is a five card shuffle for anybody that's new. First card is your overall energy, second card is your wealth and finances, your third card, hearth, home, and love your fourth card challenges for september and your fifth card is your message from spirit its readings are always here in bay fundy fortunes always done with the intent for as example for this reading here um it is taurus sun taurus rising taurus moon whatever planets you identify with there always this is a um for those of you that are new to the tarot community here on YouTube, it's a general reading. Some of it may hit home and resonate with you, and maybe none at all. So you just move on to another reader. It's no biggie. Do you find somebody that present your their reading resonates with you? If you want it to be all about you, that requires a private reading. These are general They're for the public. All right. No, one more. All right, all right, all right. One more. I just want to get to it here. It's getting late, tired. <laughs> it's going to be my last one. I won't have another one in me after this one. I can tell you that. And I still have three more to go, so I'm running a little behind. Okay, now I'm going to cut. All right. As this deck stands are the top five cards, the cards that are meant for this general public reading for September 2018 for the sign of Taurus the Bull. Are these the cards that hold the messages for anybody that is reading, viewing the reading? I'm sorry. Well, I'm getting yes. I'm not going to wait all night to get any more than that. Thank you very much, Lilith. It's your last time tonight, my dear. You can rest. <laughs> Gotta love spirit. Gotta love spirit. So, all right. Your very first card. Your overall energy. We're looking. Oh, nice. You you've got the gra you've got the graphics. Jeez, what's the matter with me? You got the chariot. <laughs> it's about movement. Movement. Okay, I'll bring it down. There we go. Your second card we're looking at here is your finances and your wealth. We got the page of swords and gossip. Okay, and um, yeah. 
in your hearth, your home, your love. Did I show it to you? Your challenges for September, we're looking at the Six of Pentacles, shown up three times tonight. Generosity. Last card is your message from Spirit. Nice. Knight of Wands. And we're looking here at activity. All right. And this, this, my dear Taurians, is your reading for September 2018. All right, see it? Okay. One of these days I'm gonna have a camera and camera system. Will you be able to keep your eyes there or up here the whole time? It's coming. All right. <clears throat> wow, the chariot. That just shows me you 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 got a lot of stuff going. You know what? Just about every sign does. It's been crazy. It's like a crazy, busy, highly active. Um, September for an awful lot of people. Almost use an analogy like it's like the bees and the squirrels, chipmunks. They're all starting now to 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 um get serious about winter and preparing for kind of so there's this busy busy um energy that's going on, you know. Um, the chariot, it shows that and reflects that the same. And this is your overall energy for the month, Taurus. Um, okay. Taurus is very methodical. Taurus thinks before they act. They usually think before they speak, which is really smart. 90% of the time. Some of you Taurians have had some ideas. You've had some plans, but nothing, nothing's evolved from it. Nothing's manifested from it. Now, all of a sudden, <laughs> thing I like about this card is it could be, um, we'll just say chaos with a purpose. <laughs> and it's people holding on to all of a sudden you, you have to roll these things out. You're, you're, you've got to jump on the opportunity. It may not come by again. And it's that old that old saying where, you know, why is it things get so quiet for so long and, and things get stagnant and they don't move and they don't grow and there's no there's no energy. And then when it happens and that gets swiped away and this new energy moves in and it's highly active, um, it's like everything happens at the same time. It's like, you know, now we can barely, we can barely, um, hold on. Why are my outside lights on? I hope that's my cat. It's just out there setting it off. I've got motion sensors. They just came on. It's kind of creepy when it's like. 1.32 a.m. and I'm sitting here and all, all of a sudden the lights outside all come on. You never know who's creeping around. Eh? <laughs> you never know. Sorry, guys. I don't hear any sounds. I'm assuming that's my cat walking up the, the pathway to set the lights out off. Um, remember with this card and for your, your time for the month of September as well. And this is your overall energy, so you need to red flag this or green flag it or mark it that um, this is not a card of emotional sensitivity. This is not a card as aim to a love, being kind, being gentle. This is pure, pure motivational, active energy, very high, um, very strong. It's going to be the dominating factor for you. From what I can see here for the months of September, everything's going to be where everything would normally be down here. You, you guys are going to be way up here. Just ah, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff happening, some surprises, um, things you didn't see coming, this sort of a thing. 
Um, but as far as any plans that have been on hold, now's the time for you to roll them out. You'll know anyway. You'll know when it comes and watch your ego. You don't want to be stepping on people's toes, being in such a hurry that you're offending people or pushing people out of the way, literally and physically, uh, literally and, and um, figuratively. Um, your keywords for this card are journey, journeys, determination, willpower, progress, friction, guidance, and protection. Those are your keywords. Pay attention to those. Um, you can get to where you're going in a hurry. You can make that you're going to go right from like point A, point B, point C with no breaks. Just make sure that you don't break any relationships along the way. Be very considerate of the other people in your life. Okay, there's just watch that through the month of September. You know, it wouldn't hurt with all this speed and this energy moving forward of every, every, we'll say every metaphorical five miles, right? Whatever that means to you. We do that, we stop and take a break and we double check everything around us. We make sure we check our people, where we're at, what's going on, what's going on with them, what's coming, you know, just to keep yourself on the, on the right track because you are going to get to where you're going. If you're panic stricken thinking you're going to run out of time, what I'm hearing is you've got plenty of time, more than you realized. Take a deep breath, chill out, go with the flow, make sure you stay on the straight path. You'll get there. So your next card, and I'm just like, what are you up to now? You know, there's some cards I just don't like. Page of Swords is one of them because he's, he's, he's an instigator. He's um, self-serving. He's not the nicest person. He can appear. On the surface, he is. He's very, very charming, very vivacious, very, you know, somebody that when he walks into a room, he attracts attention. People notice this guy, and he knows it. And one day giveaway, if this is somebody in your life, is they love to be the center of attention all the time. They they can't get enough admiration from other people. It's a lot of um, vanity there. Um. Don't share your, 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 your financial situation with anybody. There's a, there's a big flag going off there. Um, don't, like, don't get so busy. You say to buddy here, um, here's my debit card. Here's the password. Could you run out and get us a pizza and some pop and whatever? Because you're bit, you can't stop it. You're getting really hungry and you still want to put another four to six hours in on whatever it is that you're working at. Don't do something like that. Don't do it. <coughs> um, big warning with this card is, is to avoid trouble when you're able to avoid it. Steer clear of any kind of, um, any negativities, anything you could, your intuitions go on this picture looks perfect, but there's something that feels wrong. Go with the feels wrong. Um, back away, back away, back away, get away from it, avoid it, go around it, go under it, go over it, but do not go to it. Do not go to it. Um, I don't like him and, I, and I'm trying to hear why he is where he is. Why are you there? There's a lot. Well, the card represents gossip, and what it is, is, um, what are you doing? I never do this, but let me, let me pull another card. Sorry, guys. It's just that. I'll just cut. Take the top card. Why is the Page of Swords here? Well, that sure made things better. Break. Five of Swords. Okay, you guys watch your back. There's some backstabbing going on. There's some talk going on. If somebody's trying to paint you in a bad light. But this guy here, 
the page. He's coming in and um, he's had a conversation with somebody and what he said was, they trust me, they trust me. I can go in under a guise of any kind because they trust me and see what I can bring. So it's just not good at all, not at all. Um, This card here is the card of being at the end of your rope with with a situation or a person. It's a situation. There's always people involved in a situation usually. Um, but yeah, there's some conflict going on here, some heavy stuff. Um, arguments. A situation that may be something that's repetitive in your life. And you're at the end of your rope and you're saying, I had enough. I'm going to settle this once and for all, and I never want to hear this argument again. I don't want to hear the, the topic, and you're really just, and Taurus, the ones I know, they hold everything down for a long time. They hold things down. I don't think that's going to work for you this time. You've reached the end of your rope. You're going to put your foot down, and Taurus can be very empowered and very, very assertive when it comes out and intimidating taurus can be intimidating um absolutely uh, these cards are almost identical eh? in their meaning I'm, they're very 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 similar but this one is a lot of backstabbing cruel words terrible things being said hurtful things um this card here is pretty much the same thing pretty much the same you it's like you went under attack um this, it doesn't matter. I tell you this, people. It doesn't matter. Some. Oh, what was that? I don't know what's out there. Something's out there. My light's on. I don't know. Anyways, um, it, what I was saying. You can be the most nicest giving care people hold on sorry guys All right, it's nothing. Just my cat. He's not playful. He's 13. And right now he's out there on the dock and he's playing with moths. I've never seen him do that in all the years I've had him. Never. So. <laughs> here's the thing. There's. there's, there's Protect your finances, number one. Do whatever it takes. Do whatever you have to to protect. Don't share your information with anybody. Don't even lead people to think that you have excess amounts of dollars, whatever. Um, you need to protect yourself. You need to be aware of everybody that's around you. If somebody is, like I said, you could be the most amazing human being. And somebody, there's going to be people that don't like you. There's going to be people trying to take advantage of you because they think you're nice. They think you're stupid. Be careful about situations like that. I don't know why this card is going on so long, but anyway, that's enough of that. Be careful. Now, it doesn't always mean death. What this means is transformation. All right. This is in your, your hearth and your home, your loves. Um, what death does <clears throat> in the black and white of everything, what death does, it removes something from your life, completely takes it away. When it's gone, it's gone. It's final as death. It's something you can't get back. And it's leaving a room open for something brand spanking new to come into your life. 
are not meant to live every single day the same cookie cutter. We're not meant to do that. Cookie cutters, no, we're not. Although if you're like into fashion trends and stuff like that, we all, everybody gravitates at the same time. But basically at the very, very, the humanity of us, we're not cookie cutters. Um, um, this is a card of change and adjustment to change. This is a card of transformation of one thing ending and something new beginning. Definitely. Um, All I can do is give you the advice of the card, and that is for you to embrace change, change when it comes up. Keywords are rebirth, endings, change, relief, release, conclusions, endings. The family dynamic is changing for somebody. Finding a new purpose, as in the boat that sunk to the seabed floor, it is not dead, it's not dead in the water, it's been repurposed. It homes a lot of the marine life, provides food, safety, shelter from predators, all kinds of things. And, and it draws in a multitude and a real mix of different marine life from the smallest fish to the, the biggest ones. I don't see any whales, but there are sharks. It's three or four of them, and then a little wee tiny colorful. Um, but there it is, and you can see the rays, right? That boat is representative of death. And look at the rays coming down over it, highlighting it. Universe. But there's going to be a family. Your family dynamics are going to change. That's for somebody. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. I'm truly. When change comes, all you can do is embrace it and hold on and go for the ride. Sorry. So. Do you know what I did? I pulled one card too many. Oh, well, you got an extra card. So that, here we go. Okay. This is your, no, 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 I didn't. No, I pulled, didn't I? All right. No, this is all right. This is correct. Yes. Card, there we go. All right. Yeah, because I pulled an extra card. Duh. It's late, guys. 1.47 a.m. You're my last reading for tonight. The other three, I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Six of Pentacles, six being, six is being all about Harm, har, anything that's harmonious, bringing harmony into our lives, really good feelings, a real congenial type atmosphere, and 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 this sort of thing. And here's where you got to stop and you got to say, okay, I believe, I believe, because if you're stuck here and change, and it's not, you know, we've got some yucky stuff going on in there. How's that for tarot tech, tech talk? It's yucky. You got a yucky future. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. You know, I've all almost always we laughed about this so many times. The very idea of um, is doing a whole skit thing with tarot with a tarot reader, and she's like one of those like goddess Athenas with the headband and the big loop earrings and very gypsyish and big crystal ball, and she's drunk. And somebody goes in to get the reading done. She's pissed drunk. I can tell you we've had fun with the idea. Just as a spoof. But this is a wonderful card for you to have. It doesn't matter where it falls. It really, really doesn't. <coughs> what is telling me here? You really don't. As far as outside of this gossip stuff. 
And don't get intimidated by the gossip when it comes back to you. If people, somebody's saying something bad about you, don't let out this big reaction. You think. Think on it for a few days. And by the time you're done thinking about it, here's, here's my prediction, is you're going to go, well, now that I've done all this pondering on this and turning it inside out and upside down and thinking about it, I don't have the energy anymore because that took all my energy. I don't care. And that'll be the bottom line. You won't care. Don't feed the negative energy. Don't feed into that. Um, if your fear, your 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 reflexes to be um, afraid, you're feeding it. It's just words. It's just words. It's somebody with a nasty, dark, dirty attitude. Um, these are people trying to get ahead without putting in the work. And, and you've put in all the work. Taurus are very proud that way. They, they put in the work. Um, when this card shows up, though, the chances are you're going to come into some money. It'll be unexpected. It could come in the form of a gift. And um, you're to take yourself out and treat yourself in some way. This is feel-good money. There's been a lot of this rolling around through the readings, a lot of feel good money going on. Um, again, we're coming back to the first card motivation and maybe stepping on some toes and not being aware of the people around us, right? Um, you, you do need to watch that. You need to be aware of that. Um, Keywords are finances and gifts and balance, help, compassion, humility. Again, with the protection. Um, remain sensitive. You know, here, here I just heard something as well. You may be having a real good time here. Um, and somebody in your life is going through the depths of hell. All right. Be sensitive to them. Don't be jumping around. Yay. Celebrating when, you know, this person that's important to you and you're important to each other is going through something. Try to rein it in. Remain sensitive. That's coming through loud and clear for somebody. Be aware of what you're doing, what you're saying. The last card here we're looking at is the Knight of Wands. This is your message from Spirit. And we're looking at a lot of activity. I already seen that. All the cards are like September's for everybody is different, but except for one thing, they're highly active. There's a lot of stuff going on in September. Um, communications and interactions, that's really, really high. Running very, very high. So we're looking here at the Knight of Wands. As I said, your your uh, message from your message from spirit when this card shows up for you, Taurus. Um, it's representing basically your whole month right there. Um, all areas of your life, all of a sudden, they, have, they all wake up at the same time. There's a lot going on. Um, all this brand new energy is being breathed into the, the different aspects of your life, your home life, your love life, your work life, your friend life, your social life. Your work, I mean, you know, this sort of thing, but there's a high, there's just this energy has been elevated and you're feeling it. It's almost like an electrical buzz, you know, it's like if you're real quiet, like if you live in the city, you can hear the power lines buzzing. There's that, that almost barely audible, but it's kind of like that. It's like, you know, it's there, but you're feeling it this time. Um. I see a lot of you smiling through it, so it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Um, but, yeah, again, you're getting, with communications being very, very busy, I just heard very, very open. We're texting, phone calls, meetings, this sort of a thing. Um, this card shows you making progress in the love department as well. And for some of you, you may be moving, and right there, that in, that in itself, but very active moving house. Boy, oh boy. That'll tie up and make your September cray-cray. 
that's stressful. It's exciting and stressful at the same time. This is a good move for somebody, but, I, but still, there's a lot of stress that goes along with uprooting and moving your whole life someplace else. And somebody is making a very big move. New Zealand or Austria, Austria, Australia. From this part of the world to there. Um, choose where you put your time and your energy into. You need to prioritize. You're going to be needing to do that to keep things straight, but you have to prioritize taking care of the most important things and then going down the line. That, that being said, you, be very careful and mindful how much focus and how much energy you're putting into everything. Be mindful of that so you're not spreading yourself thin. You don't want to do that. You're going to end up with half-assed things happening because it wasn't done right. They get taken shortcuts and all that stuff. So please be careful about that. Be very mindful about that. But um, stay grounded during the month of September as well. Keep your feet on the ground. If you remain realistic and you keep your feet on the ground and you tap into your logical side, Maybe that's your common sense, right? You will meet with success if you do everything right and you can do everything right. Just don't get crazy in this energy. Um, keep a clear head. Orderly. Find the proper balance. Taurus is all about this. I've never met a high-strung Taurus, like where they're way up here all the time, all the time. Um... Just keep a cool lid on things. Your keywords for this card are energy and movement. There's passion and focus and balance. There's communications and relationships. This was a long reading. I'm sorry, guys, about that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I hope you got something out of it. And if you want a private reading with me, all the information for that can be found down below this video window in the show more section. You can grab my email and just take it from there. Um, also, please join us on Facebook if you'd like. It's a closed and private group full of like-minded individuals like me and just like you. It's a really great place to be. Um, and if anybody's looking for me, you can't find me here. You'll find me walking down at the cove, along the beach, along the water's edge that hold the highest, mightiest tides on the whole planet, the beautiful and the bountiful Bay of Funday. I wish you the best of the best of the best. You got a roller coaster thing going on here for September. Just um, be mindful. Watch that energy that it doesn't get out of control. Um, and keep it, keep your loved ones in mind. Prioritize. Keep the peace since you can share that love and light out. Have a great month. Bye for now.